we present to you the very, very green, spectacular television program, Plants and Their Friends. Okay, so we are now at the northeast corner of the house, uh, maybe a little more east than north. And I've created uh, this bed. As you can see, it's raised uh, probably about three foot to four foot. And it has a ginseng and golden seal in it. It has baby ginseng, which is only a year old here, a uh, great uh, leaf. And then we have the older ginseng plants here and here, uh, which uh, are in their uh, two to three year old mode, even though they've been planted here a longer time. And then we have the larger uh, golden seal. Um, this had berries on it. Uh, there's a few of them. It seems like the insects are taking them um, and making more holes. I had heard that sometimes the baby um, uh, birds have uh, have the ability to uh, uh, have their uh, lice stop so that uh, the uh, a mom comes over and pulls a piece of the leaf. He doesn't want anything more than that and puts it into the nest so that the babies uh, don't have to deal with lice. Now, uh, we, we have in this bed uh, some slippery elm trees, some little babies, uh, but this is an environment that anybody could do. It's, you don't need a forest. This is the north corner of any house. It is the place where the moisture is the greatest, where the snow leaves the last, and this is the environment that these plants like. Uh, we could plant in here uh, cohosh, we could plant uh, bloodroot. Uh, right now, uh, we're just uh, experimenting, and we still have some rock work to do on this one uh, to make it really nice. And this is an example of uh, something that any house that's up in the mountain area could go ahead and do and create their own medicinal garden right on their northeast corner. Okay.